Okay. <laughs> hey guys, so I just wanted y'all to see while you know me and my sister are talking about it. Like you can kind of see it better here. Y'all see my hip dips in these pants, like from the side and from the back. You would think I got booty, but I don't. And she has I, a little booty, guys. I like my hip dips. I want them to stay. I just want them filled out like this. That's it. But I love my hip dips. I don't. I don't not want my hip dips. I want them to stay. And just you see the little bubba? A little bit. Okay. Listen, I used to say, y'all, obviously, I can't stop cheesing. It's, 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 <laughs> the smile is blasted on my face, but we are on the way to free up. Is that 10 o'clock? No, it's at 10 30. Right now, we're about an hour away, so yeah, we're about to uh, vibe, listen to music, smoke a blunt, obviously, to get my nerves in check, and then, um, so they. <laughs> so y'all i want to let y'all know i spoke to the surgery center um they said they might let me record like in the appointment so um if they do then obviously should be recording if they don't allow her in there then i'll just record it myself like and sit my stuff up but i really hope they allow her in there and they allow you know everything so we can give y'all all the footage possible like like I said, I want y'all to see and know everything that's going down. But um, but yeah. So oh, I'm sorry, y'all, because this cop was perfect. I had to make sure. Oh, he was okay. <laughs> yeah, I had to make sure he wasn't finna pull off. Okay. Get on. Um. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. I will come back when we get closer to the center. I still have to stop and get some cash. So um, yeah, we got a couple stops to make before we get there. But I will see y'all in a little bit. It's raining, y'all, but we're gonna wait. All right, y'all, I'm nervous. We are here. <laughs> Yo, we were fighting. <laughs> no, oh, yeah. This is the are you serious? We still have, we to, still go have to go outside. outside. Go out this way. Yeah, go out this way. Hi, how what? you doing? Yeah, we still gotta go out this way. Oh, God. And it's raining. It would be raining today, right? It would be raining. Guy, you trying to tell me something? They should have a side door side that just, door yeah. Because, uh, mm -mm. can we go in through there? Hey guys. Hey, talk to this. Hey, talk to oh! Not That's me funny. trying to avoid the rain. Like I'm a melt. <laughs> Fill out some paperwork. Okay, guys. So I am in the back. I'm doing paperwork. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. It's a bunch of paperwork. So this is everything. We have plenty of paperwork here. Then a bunch of paperwork to fill out here. So yeah, I'm gonna get to that, and I'll be back. So these are just the same exact forms, but they're separate forms for the lipo and BBL. So this one I'm just gonna fly through because it's the same exact forms and I read the other forms. So I just signed a consent for pelvic and or rectal exam form. I'm gonna ask why that would be needed because that's a little confusing. That's a little weird. I mean, I don't mind it, but I'm just curious. It's just 
double check everything. Okay. So this is the little room. It's cute or whatever. As you fill out your paperwork in. Okay, y'all, it's drug test time. Drug test time. All right, so I don't know if y'all can see, but these are the different tests. And it's looking like everything is negative. Except that THC. <laughs> Look at the hips when I sit down before y'all. I'm trying to have it like that after, just with a flat stomach. Just like that. All right, so pre-op is done. All right, so pre-op is done. I have my pre-op instructions, which I will go over with y'all on what they say to do for tomorrow. My forehead is shining, low mercy. But yes, I'm excited. Do all doctors allow plastics? Or? Um, no, 
know and that's what I told them like you it depends um and and you guys really want to refer to your specific surgeon now Dr. Harrell specifically he allows um you us to have implants and the real reason that they don't want you to have any piercings in is because you're going under general anesthesia usually and you know they're going to be manipulating your tongue all these different Everything. things putting shit down your throat and you don't want any complications with that getting in the way so that's why you necessarily don't allow um you know you to keep your piercing rings in um what else is on there oh you won't be able to remove anything after surgery so they'll be putting you in your faha and your compression socks when you leave the hospital and you will not be able to get out of that for one night so you will be a little funky okay because yeah you will be a little funky because it says on here when you take your bath you cannot put on deodorant so you're not putting on deodorant before surgery and then you're going a whole night and day you want me to care for after you? surgery <laughs> put the mask on. No, after surgery without deodorant on bloody all these things so keep that in mind you know what i'm saying you definitely want to have somebody with you that's going to be able to care for you the way they need to and not be all ilky about it because that's just the reality of it that's what it's going to be um for that first day until they see you in post-op and they evaluate you then you can go home and take a shower and be out of your faha for an hour while and wash it if you'd like while you're taking your shower and put it right back on you are to be in your faha you 23 7. i mean yeah, i might as well that. wash it yeah because we have to like i'm lucky enough to have a washing machine in my house so i could just put my peroxide in my washing machine do a quick wash on my shit whenever i need to so that's the good thing. A lot of people, if they don't have washing machines in their house, then you can also do it in the tub or in the sink and just use peroxide. So there are other options. Don't think you need to go to the, you know, laundry mat every time if you don't have one in your home. You can just do a hand wash or hand soap in the tub. I see a lot of people do or in the sink as well. Um, oh, and she also said, what's that bottom of here? Oh, yeah. So Thursday, so my surgery is Wednesday. My post-op appointment will be Thursday, and I will have my first two massages Thursday, which technically I'm getting two massages in one. The massages are 30 minutes. I'm purchasing three from them because um, their requirement is minimum two to three, but you can purchase more, but they are all in Miami, so I will not be driving down here. I found someone to come to me, which will be in the post-op videos, and I will show you guys. But um, yes, I purchased three from them. Two, I'm going to roll into one. So basically, instead of it being 30 minutes, I'm just going to have an um, hour massage which is two massages um we so get you up in yeah um oh so yeah i said that to say that morning she said to have a nice big hearty breakfast we're gonna try to get some um maybe i'll make me some overnight oats do my smoothie like i usually do get myself nice and full because people do get lightheaded with those first massages you know um you know a lot of pain and things like that so she said to have a nice big breakfast um and the paper says to walk every walk every hour five to ten minutes right mm -hmm. so that's another thing y'all y'all don't want any black blood clots and that's what the compression socks help avoid but um you want to be up walking as often as possible like that's what i tell cheyenne i don't really want to be like oh like oh i can't do anything because i'm just stopping myself you know what i'm saying like i want to be up if i'm able to be up i'm gonna be up up walking Oh yeah, that's another thing too. So guys, with my scoliosis, the doctor, your surgeon will only prescribe so much. You know what I'm saying? Anything else that's extra, your PCP will have to prescribe. So I have um, scoliosis. So I told my doctor already to put in a prescription for the lidocaine patches for me so that I can um, have that because I know sleeping on my stomach, my back is going to be fucking tearing up. You know what I'm saying? Um, and if... I feel like I need more than a day or two worth of the oxygen. I can always call my PCP to give me more as well. So you always want to, you know, that's a, that's the good thing about going to your PCP. If you go to urgent care to get cleared or something like that, you won't have the backup 
of your PCP if you need something extra because most nine times out of ten they'll be like, oh, I'm not prescribing you oxys. I didn't even clear you for the surgery. You get what I'm saying? So they're not going to put their license on the line just because you're calling them saying you're in pain from a surgery that they didn't clear you for. You know what I'm saying? So just keep that in mind when you get your clearances. You want to be, if you can, even though my doctors, it was really complicated for me to you know, get it done and fit, get fit in at my doctor, even though I caught them that early, just try to do it. Try to get it done with your PCP if you can, just to have that, you know, reassurance that if you need anything else, you can always go to your PCP because he was the one that cleared you, he or she. Am I missing anything? And then they gave me a, t a medication tip, do's and don'ts, and then they gave like healthy meals to have afterwards, and then paperwork about that. When I go into pre-op, I will get another paper of, uh, I mean post-op, I will get another paper of post-op instructions. So, yeah. You but that, a lot of water. Mm -hmm. But that is it, guys. So, I'm going to end this vlog here. The next time you guys will see me is tomorrow. A surgery day. So, <laughs> I'm excited. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited. But yeah. Alright guys, so my sheets and everything is in the washer. Well dryer now. I took everything out of my bins and organized it up here. Got my drinks and stuff like my pills over here. Pads I'm gonna put on in the morning when I leave um on the bed, but I'm just gonna get the plastic on now. Um and then put my sheets over it. I have two shower curtains, so that's what I'm gonna get up now. Okay, so as you can see, my shower curtain is higher up on the bed, and that's, well, number one, it's higher up on the bed, and then it's not on the other side. That's because I'm going to put them both on my side to not make him uncomfortable on the other side, and then, um, because, like, I mean, I'm only, like, my torso and everything will be up towards this end. The only thing that be at this end is my feet, so that's why I pulled it up and tucked it in on that side. I was going to tape it, but because my mattress is so thick, the d distance from the mattress like if you guys see right here the distance from the mattress to the side it's just i'll be having tape everywhere if i try to tape it so that was the best way to do it for me um again do what works for you guys i'm just doing what works for me um and i also use my handy dandy you want to clean your mattress as well clean my mattress my bathroom bed um sanitized it light sawed it everywhere um you have to see the lights on the corner so yeah you want to get everything nice and clean and i'm gonna continue now okay so sheets and everything are washed we have the shower curtain under there i have the other shower curtain i'm gonna put on in the morning on top with the uh pads on top but yeah, um, I have the under one under, and I'm going to sleep on that for tonight.